Hi all, Salvatore here. I promised you a video about Narendra Modi, so you might be surprised that I open with a quote from Winston Churchill. But that's exactly what I'm going to do. It's that famous quote you've all heard, quote, it has been said that democracy is the worst form of government, except all those other forms that have been tried from time to time. And there my intellectual colleagues leave it. They have a little chuckle about, oh, you know, democracy, it's so bad, but we have to live with it. And they move on with their agendas. They don't tell you the rest of the quote. Well, I'm going to finish it. Mr. Churchill continued, but there is the broad feeling in our country that the people should rule, continuously rule, and that public opinion expressed by all constitutional means should shape, guide, and control the actions of ministers who are their servants and not their masters. Now, Narendra Modi is probably no fan of Winston Churchill. Most Indians aren't, and for good reason. But if Mr. Modi has retained an extraordinary popularity for more than two decades, it's because he understands the sentiment behind that quote. Look, it's not because of his skill as an administrator. I can give you lots of examples of BJP and Modi failures of administration in the last 20 years. It's not because of nationalism. The Indian National Congress has national right in its middle name. Um, it's certainly not because of Hindutva. 20% of India's Muslims don't vote BJP because of its Hindutva program. Um, if Narendra Modi has been consistently successful, it's because he clearly understands that he is not the master of India. He is the servant of India. And anyone who wants to beat him at the polls has to be just as dedicated to public service as he is. That's why Arvind Kedrawal represents such a greater threat to the BJP than Rahul Gandhi. Uh, even though Congress dwarfs the Aam Admi Party, Kedrawal has a much stronger reputation for hard work and public service. And that's what matters most at the polls. In an election between two lazy politicians, look, policy might matter. But in an election between a self-serving politician and one who truly respects the electorate, the respectful one, the hardworking one, the service-oriented one will win every time.